back to my channel if you're new here my name is shime if you're not thank you for tuning back in so in today's video i am finally giving you guys your highly requested long-awaited pregnancy update slash q a ever since i got pregnant you guys have been on my back <laughs> you guys have been on my case about like my symptoms what they were you're just asking me questions all about my pregnancy so i decided to do a poll on my ig if you're not following me on instagram please follow me on instagram that is where i sort of keep you guys updated on like the channel when i make a new upload or when i'm doing like a something interactive like this so i made a poll on my instagram asking you guys all your questions that you have so that's what i'm going to be answering today pregnant and i didn't really drink that much water to be honest i wasn't drinking as much water as i needed to be drinking as like a human being but then i just got thirsty i would get really 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 thirsty and my thirst wouldn't be quenched so that is the one thing that like made me think like ah, da, 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 i am probably pregnant was the thirst just because like in the past like i was never it never used to be thirsty unless i ran or exercised I would not make a deliberate effort to intake the amount of water that I should be intaking as a human being just to be healthy. I know it's not good. Don't do this at home, you guys. Drink your water. Drink your water. Don't be like me. Drink your water. Like I would wake up in the middle of the night. I'm thirsty. I would wake up in the morning. I'm thirsty. I'm, I'm literally just doing nothing, but I'm thirsty. So that was my first symptom was extreme thirst. Another symptom that I had was I was extremely tired. Um, as a person, I don't have that high energy levels, but I can do a pretty, like a good chunk of tasks in a day. So I would notice that maybe not even halfway through my tasks, I got tired. Another symptom was hunger, obviously, dizziness, cramping. So like the thing about early pregnancy is like I found out before I got my period that I was pregnant. So one of the things that is confusing is like the cramps because you have period like cramps but they're much lighter so that's one of the things that really confused me i don't know if you guys know this but i got i tested positive before i got my period so i didn't wait for my period to come i just got a pregnancy test i googled what is the earliest time you can test for pregnancy they said five five days before your period so it was very tricky time i'm the type of person that i'm very in tune with my body i know what goes on each time of the month i'll know this is when i'm ovulating my luteal phase my period is coming soon my period so like i'm very in tune with my body everything that happens throughout like my cycle but like that month i just knew like uh, something is off and like if you know your body you'll know that especially if like your things are consistent my period was always consistent like everything was always consistent so i just knew that something was off that month um, even though I didn't have like confirmation from a pregnancy test that okay you're pregnant I just like I felt really really off um, other than these symptoms like I would feel like so yeah that's it for my early pregnancy symptoms if you guys have any more questions just comment down below um, I will try to answer your comments um, I I do read and see all of your comments you guys but yeah, if you have any questions just comment down below wow my back is already killing me and it's not even like the video has barely even started would you guys mind if i said like this <sighs> it's the fact that um the lord even gave me the opportunity to experience this to create something out of love like just the idea that you and your person have created a life and that life has been created um, out of love. The baby is kicking right now, actually. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Like I was saying, the best thing about being pregnant is just the idea. You know, just the idea that two people can come together and make a life, you know. The best experience that I've had or that I'm having 
is like feeling my baby move up until my baby started moving it just didn't it didn't sink in for me um so i was like mm. Every time I would go to a sauna and I'd see the baby, I'd be like, oh my gosh, there's actually a baby there. I'll talk and then the baby will respond. With Viku, the baby moves instantly. Like, Viku will walk into a room, he hasn't been all day. I'm talking to myself, I'm singing, I'm doing what, what. Baby isn't moving. Viku walks into the room, he says one word, and the baby is kicking. So, the baby instantly responds to Viku's voice, provided baby is awake. Um, so, yeah. My energy levels have dropped significantly. I don't know how to keep them high. I've tried to keep them high. I'm obviously on vitamins, uh, but like, mm -mm. my dear, if you're pregnant, just say goodbye to your energy levels. But the thing that I do is like, I'll take breaks in between tasks and I'll listen to my body. If I'm tired, if I'm done for the day, I won't push myself, but breaks really, really help. my cravings okay let me tell you something about my pregnancy my early pregnancy my first trimester all i wanted was hungry lion i just wanted hungry lion every single day for breakfast lunch and dinner now just the smell of the hungry lion it it literally nauseates me only thing that i eat from hungry lion the thing that i actually crave is the burger so i would say my cravings at the moment I eat bread, a lot of bread, so like a lot of grilled cheese sandwiches, anything that, that's in bread, honestly, it doesn't even have to be meaty or anything like that. Um, potatoes all day, every day. I think I've gone through like five sacks of potatoes, like those, how many kg sacks? Six sacks nowadays. Bread, potatoes. We're going on to the seventh one now. Bread, Always potatoes. Always like a chip shop in here. <laughs> The no one time I came home and he was like, "Nee yeah, man, this is a chips shop." Because <laughs> the only way I like the potatoes is if it's like fried and <sighs> crunchy. Are you really gonna? Sorry guys, don't mind my husband. He's there in the back. I don't like that many things actually. I like chappies, the red bubble gum, and like baked goods. So like cupcakes muffins like i'll make sure i always have like those ready bake stuff in my kitchen i don't feel insecure about my body i'm just very aware of the changes so like there's lots of things that change in your body when you become pregnant so i'm just like aware fully aware of the changes i'm not insecure about the body my body at all i'm actually very like wow I can do this and just like when you think about like the functions of your body and like this is supposed to do this and this is supposed to do this and this is how you provide like this for your baby you just kind of think like how god outdid himself on like the human anatomy of a female and you're like oh my goodness i cannot believe i couldn't believe i was capable of it so i'm not insecure about my body i'm just very proud of what my body can do i'm in awe of who god is and how he created us I'm in our way. so i have researched extensively on both methods of birth i'm very traumatized on like how it all happens i've never been pregnant before i've never given birth before this is my first time so i've like just the idea of having a c-section is just like more you know like calming in the moment but i know that it's better to have a natural birth um and just like feel the pain once and then like you can recover faster i know that with cesarean section recovery time is longer i'm aware of all the procedures all the risks and stuff like that but i wouldn't say i am ready to give birth mentally i'm not there yet absolutely not because where i'm at right now is i have just acknowledge the fact that i'm gonna have a baby i'm not at the point where i'm like okay i'm gonna push now okay i'm gonna have a baby now mentally no not ready to give birth i was never the kind of person to answer the question of how long are you gonna wait to have kids i'm not even one to give like advice because who do i think i am but like just a friendly word of advice it's not advisable to ask people how long do you want me to have a baby when are you gonna have a baby you know when is your next baby it's it's a very sensitive topic and i didn't understand that until i was in the position myself 
um, it's a very uncomfortable and you can ask someone um, when are you gonna have a baby and you never know that person could be trying they could have been trying for the past two years when are you gonna have a baby when are you gonna have a baby it's a very insensitive question to ask and i wouldn't advise anyone to like ask people when are you gonna have a baby how long do you want to wait even if my plan was to wait five years for a baby who says that that's god's plan so like it's different for everyone that was just a word of advice don't ask people when are you having a baby um also if you guys want a video on <laughs> things not to ask a pregnant woman i have a long list honey because i have been through the ringer bro um before we got pregnant we actually wanted to wait a year we would talk about having like a honeymoon baby because you gotta figure we've been dating for four years before we got married so we were like oh, we want baby straight away um we both really really decided to have a baby straight away but then we got married and we're like oh let's just wait at least a year so our plan was to wait a year but we never told anyone that we're waiting a year because we don't want those things up okay so it's been a year what's up what's the haps um so like the only thing because i know i mentioned in our pregnancy announcement that it came by surprise the only thing that was surprising was the fact that it happened so quickly in the past. <coughs> having a <laughs> having a baby was always in the plans we wanted this baby we prayed for this baby we desired this baby we're still thinking about that we definitely want to document some stuff obviously we're going to film everything for ourselves but as to what we're going to share um it's going to be i think a little limited because it is an intimate time and we don't want to just put everything out there um but yeah we do want to share with you guys because you guys have been with me um i started my channel in 2018 and you guys have been with me since 2018 and you guys have been so like loyal and so like you know loving and caring so we will share some parts here and there but we won't be sharing everything mainly is the fact that i can't eat sushi um if you guys know me you know that sushi is one of my favorite foods i can't eat like sushi but i can have like vegan sushi but vegan sushi is not the same as like real sushi it's like having a burger without the meat so like challenges for me is like restricted stuff like you can't eat certain things um another challenge for me is the sleeping um very uncomfortable in my sleep sometimes i get heartburn i'll get so tired so quickly my biggest challenge is my pregnancy brain my brain so like before i got pregnant i was naturally like forgetful person you know but now it's been taken to a whole other level. I don't remember anything. Things that I know, I just won't remember. Or I'll forget to do things. I'll f forget to switch off the stove, switch off the shikangure. Just like random things. Like my forgetfulness is at an all time. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for submitting your questions. Thank you guys for being so interactive in the comments. I love you guys so much i see all of your comments um i appreciate all of your concerns all of your dms everything you guys i see everything and i'm so appreciative of it and i just want to say thank you for 17,000 subscribers on youtube we are on a road to 20k um subscribe and join the tea gang if you're not part of the tea gang already and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.